Yo, what is up guys at Ghost here, welcome back to Stormgate Central. Today I've got another build order for the Vanguard for you guys, and this one is going to be much more of a macro build. It's going to be a one barracks safe expand, and this is probably one of the safest builds you can find in the game. It's not too greedy, it's not going to be command post first or anything like that, but on the other hand, it's also not an aggressive opener like you saw in my first guide for the double barracks dog opener, or the scout opener I should say, the other day. It's also going to allow you to basically transition into whatever kind of army composition you want. So as you can see in the background here in this particular game, I ended up massing up the Hornets, which by the way are extremely powerful, even though they have seen a nerf already in the current beta. So if you haven't given them a go yet and you're, you're playing the game at the moment, I really recommend trying a build with these. But you can also go into bio you can go into mech you can really go into whatever you want before we get started if you guys do enjoy the content here on the channel don't forget to hit up that subscribe button it really does help the channel out a lot guys it helps a lot with the algorithm so thank you guys so much for your support so far you guys have been absolutely killing it and uh, without further ado let's just jump straight into the build order here so here we go, we're skipping back to the beginning of the game. This is going to be a Vanguard versus Vanguard. And as usual, you want to open up here and scout with your scout and build yourself a bob. What I usually do is I build two bobs at the start of the game. And then you want to bank around 200 Luminite. And once you hit around 200 Luminite, you're going to take two of the bobs off of your Luminite. And you're going to go and build a barracks at your ramp. And when you do that, you're also going to boost the bob from the command center. So there we go, I'm sending my two bobs down, boosting at the command center, boosting the bobs and using the overcharge. Not only does it increase their armor and their attack, but it also it decreases their, their build speed or you know makes them build faster essentially. So what you're gonna do with these two bobs now, it's very simple, you're gonna build a barracks, followed by a supply depot at the other side there, allowing you that little gap in the middle so that you can block off the ramp if you need to against, for example, an enemy dog attack or something from the infernal side and then you're going to move these bobs down into your natural and you're going to build a turret around around where i'm building it there i'm not sure that is actually the the optimal position yet i'm still trying to figure out exactly where on this map you want to build it so that it covers your ramp your mineral line in the natural and nothing can actually run past there so the whole time you're doing this build guys Never stop building bobs. If you see me stopping building a bob in the background here, that is just my mistake. The build order is supposed to function whilst building bobs the entire time. And in a second here, when these two have finished building the sentry post, we're going to rally them straight back onto the Luminite. And if you've been building bobs pretty much the whole time, you should find that you now have 12 bobs on the Luminite, at which point you're going to start rallying onto the Ethereum instead. Now, once you've gotten this far, you're going to want to build at least one Lancer to go into your sentry post and defend your ramp and your natural expansion. Now, as soon as you hit 300 Luminite, you're going to want to take two bobs off of your Luminite mine and two from the Ethereum and go and build your command post down at the natural. For some reason here, I only have one bob on the Ethereum, and I think that's because I, I must have messed up my macro a little bit there and just had a little bit of downtime on the command post, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Once again, we are going to boost the overcharge on the bobs, and you can actually cast this overcharge boost on a building command post, so that is very integral to this build there. And as you can see with my scout, I've pretty much just kept it close to his main, around his natural or his third, and I'm just going to run in his base here and get a scout off every now and again just to see what he's up to. So here I can see he's going for an expansion. He's not doing anything too crazy and aggressive, so I'm safe to just keep uh, with the one Lancer there. If you see that he doesn't have an expansion and he's going for like two Rax dogs or a bunch of Lancers or it's like a Conclave vault coming from the Infernal, well, you might want to have built a few more Lancers. You don't necessarily have to stop at one Lancer before you build your command post of the natural. You can build two Lancers or three or four or however many you deem necessary to defend your base. And so if you do get an attack incoming here, there are a number of things you can do. First of all, you can overcharge your bobs at the natural and use them to repair the turret along with your additional lancers to defend. If it's some sort of a run by going into your base, like from enemy scouts, for example, you can simply use a lancer between the barracks and the habitat to block the ramp. Um, that will pretty much shut down any sort of dog run by. The turret should cover the mineral line or the luminite line, I suppose, the worker line in your natural, so you're good to go there. 
But obviously for this build, you are going to have to give up map control for the start of the game, which is fine though, because hopefully you should be in a bit of an economic lead, unless the player's gone for the exact same build, which my opponent here seems to have done. Now, the great thing about this build is that you can transition into any kind of build you want here. So in this game, I decided to go for Hornets. So you've seen I've rallied five workers onto the Ethereum here. I'm now upgrading my command post to a central command. And as soon as that is done, I am going to build two hangar bays so I can start pumping out Hornets with these single barracks. I'm just continuing to spend some of my Luminite making Lancers. I'm going to go ahead and take a pretty early third here just so I can really capitalize uh, on my macro because I'm pretty confident that by the time he comes in and attacks my third, I think I'm going to have some Hornets out. And he hasn't really scouted me here so i don't think he's going to be expecting hornets at all alternatively you can also go into bio very easily in that case you would probably put a few less workers onto Ethereum, maybe three and that way saturate your luminite mines a little bit quicker and then you can go ahead and build an additional barracks and a biokinetics lab and you can either go into lancers and get the upgrade for them you can go into exos with the upgrade you can upgrade your command post to a central command and then get med techs you can you, you kind of want to have all three of those things in your bio composition right it just depends and it's up to you which one of them you want to go for first. I hope this helps some of you guys out. I did notice a few comments on my previous build that you wanted to see a bit more of a macro oriented build. And this is the one that's been working for me. Like I said, it's not too greedy. It's not command post first, but it's also a pretty economical build here. I also want to give a massive shout out to Probe SC2. I'm going to link his YouTube channel down below. He was the guy who actually posted his version of this build in the discord but i'm aware a lot of you guys don't have access to the stormgate beta discord so i thought you know what let me go ahead and make a video on this because the build order has just been working for me so well i'm just really jamming with it and having fun transitioning into all different kinds of late game compositions i just having a blast with it in general so shout out to probe really good guy and he's been doing a lot for the stormgate community as well guys leave me your thoughts down below i'd be really interested to hear what sort of builds have you guys been trying out not just for the vanguard either but also for the infernals you know have you been going for those macro builds or have you been more of a cheesy player going for those rush proxy type builds let me know down below and comment what your favorite build is so far and by all means, if you've got any tips for me, feel free to share them. I am by no means the best Stormgate player on the planet, so I can definitely use some tips as well. If you are a Vanguard player, check out this build order here for fast upgraded scouts. Pretty nice rush here, and it's won me a lot of games, so definitely an interesting one. But otherwise, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.